Today we are looking at the ASUS GT AX6000 Wi-Fi 6 gaming router. I'm in the UK, we call it router, you probably call it router. Although this is marketed towards gamers, I'm not really interested in that side of things. I want a strong, stable Wi-Fi connection. The reason for picking ASUS, it's the AI mesh. You get any compatible AI mesh router and create a mesh network. So here in the UK, we are with BT, 900 down and 110 up. We will have a quick look at the app. However, setup, I will not be showing that because I have already done the setup through the web browser and through the app on my other two ASUS videos. I will link them in the description box below and in the iCard if you want to watch them. Information here, mobile game mode, CPU, two 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports, game acceleration, AI mesh, which I've just spoken about. You get free AI protection, it does have the RGB, gamers do need RGB, and it's reader's choice from 2012 to 2021. Some more information on that side. I do like this packaging. It's basically the same thing on there. Some information on this side. This comes with four detachable antennas. Memory 256 MB flash 1 gig of DDR4 RAM will help with the connected devices. Some more specs there. We have some QR codes here and it's letting us know that it's compatible with Mac and Windows 11. Three year warranty. Make sure to register that with ASUS. Okay, we have some more information around the back. Basically marketing like how fast Wi-Fi 6 is. The reason I went for Wi-Fi 6 because I tried Wi-Fi 6C, that has a short range and my house was built in 2016 and the materials they used in this does affect Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi 6E was not good for us, it was short range, it kept disconnecting. So I thought I'll stick with Wi-Fi 6. I know Wi-Fi 7's out now as well, that has an even shorter range than Wi-Fi 6C, so Wi-Fi 6 will be fine for us. So we've got VIP member warranty notice, ASUS router app, you could get it for Google Play and the App Store, I have already downloaded that. Advanced Wi-Fi helper tip. Power supply, that's for different countries that mines this one for the UK, it's a 3 pin one. Cat 6 Ethernet cable. Power brick, take that out, it's got some information there if you're interested, it's a barrel type one, we get four antennas, that doesn't light up, it's just the colours red. Some more paperwork at the bottom, a quick start guide. And a safety notice there. That will light up. That will show us power 2.4G, 5G, 2.5G1, 2.5G LAN, LAN, and then WPS. Over here we have a WPS button and we have the LED light button. You can turn the lights off if you want. At the back we have 2.0 USB, 3.0 USB for your file sharing of printers. Gigabit LAN ports, one of them has a gaming port written at the bottom. If you have four PCs connected to this, the computer that's connected to the gaming port will get more priority over the other three. 2.5 slash 1G one port. 2.5 slash 1G LAN port, reset, a physical power button here, and power port there. I think you can wall mount this. I'm not 100% sure, but it does have them cutouts there. But I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to know more about this or if you want to pick this up. If you find the video useful, leave a like and please subscribe to watch more reviews.
this router does have a big footprint so you may want to check the measurements out before you decide to get one I'm okay because I'm going to place this in my hallway in an open area on top of a shelf but if this is going to go in between a shelf I don't think it will fit depending on the size so it's best to have a look at the measurements Let's have a quick look at the app. So you can see Aura RGB. If I click on here, I'm able to turn the light off completely or I could change the way it reacts as well. So I could put it on breathing if I want. I could change the color as well. Right arrow, real time traffic, network, CPU and RAM usage, connected clients. And next to that, so I'd know that if I had another ASUS router, which I will be getting, and I'm going to set up an AI mesh system. If I click on the gaming sign, we have the devices connected, insight, family. This is a good one. If you have little kiddies, you could control the amount of time they spend on the internet and you could block certain sites as well settings it gives you a lot of settings here ai mesh ai protection diagnostics so everything's working absolutely fine traffic statistics gaming if I click on this mobile gaming mode I've already been on that quality of service now, I leave this off because a lot of people have said that the internet slows down once they turn this on so I absolutely leave this on off on any router I am using internet speed Wi-Fi settings network settings so this is really limited what you can do here if you log on to the web interface you could do a lot more firmware i had to upgrade the firmware it had a new firmware it also works with hexa and google assistant let's run a speed test now so i'm in the next room i'm using my iphone 15 which is a Wi-Fi 6 device. This is a speed test taken from my PC. I had my Ethernet cable plugged into the 2.5 gigabit port of the router and 1 gigabit port on my PC. This is a speed test I did in my backyard. I'm on the 5 gigahertz band. The router is in the hallway and this speed is impressive. I haven't seen this speed on any router I have tested. The range on this router is really impressive. Overall, we have been really happy with this router. It's got a really good throughput. The 2.4 gigahertz band and the 5 gigahertz band do deliver strong, stable Wi-Fi connection. We have had no issues with it at all. I don't know how well this is coming off on camera. If you can see these lights at the front, they're really annoying. You can turn them off if you push this button here. You hold it for three seconds. They will go off like I've got the ROG logo there. That's not blinking as well. It's just these at the front. That's really annoying that. Just something I wanted to point out if you're going to put this router in your bedroom. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and please subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.